Psycho Boy. I'll admit, I got this song on my workout playlist. It's a good one. There's just something about it that it gets you fired up. I understand why Potter uses it to come to the ring. The Psycho Boy with the Psycho Stick. When you see Potter, that stick ain't too far behind. They're one in the same. At AML, especially in previous months, and pretty much since Potter started becoming a mainstay here on the main roster, you have not seen him without that Psycho Stick. The only thing conspicuous by their absence is Angelina Love, the Psycho Girl. Normally, they come to the ring together. Just like the stick, the wife is not far behind. Yep. And so we got, we've got we got fodder against Gustavo here, guys. Gustavo, a mainstay in AML wrestling, a big fan favorite. Fodder calling for the mic. What does fodder have to say here tonight? All you wasted say the losers, shut your mouth. Woo! Shades of Ravishing Rick Rude. I like it a lot. Will Winston Salem Sweat Hogs. Fans here, not big fans of fodder, James. And he's not big fans of them either. That's news to us. So who's your, so who's the opponent? The stick? Is he gonna fight the stick? He can't just fight the stick. Oh man, calling people out by their wardrobe. Mike, you. Hey, Mike, hey. Hey, Mike Cena. There's music, James. There is music. I don't know who. That ain't my music, though. It's not? No. It's not what you come out to? No, it's too funky for me. Oh! James, is that Blade Brown? That is Blade, Bla Blade Brown. That's exactly who that is. Um, I, I don't think I'm going too far out of pocket by saying Blade Brown looks like he's put together just a little bit better than Gustavo. This is a big man. It's like, it's like Terry Tate, the office linebacker. Brother. Like LT met the pro wrestling ring. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This guy's like a mix of Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley all in one. I'm excited to see what he's about to do with, here in this matchup. Man, Fodder's got his work cut out for him now. Especially if he spent the last month preparing for Gustavo. Fodder taking the early advantage. Just right hand after right hand. The Psycho Boy sweeping the leg, knocking him onto the turnbuckle. Goes for a hip toss. Oh, nose. man. Oh, my God, look at the strength. Goes for a ride, a courtesy of Blade Brown. Huge lariat. Into an arm drag, nice. And not letting him go. Riding him all the way back down to the mat. Show your stuff, Blade Brown. Let everybody in Winston-Salem see what you can do. Maximize your minutes, young man. Especially against a guy like Fodder, right? I mean, NWA on TV every week. Oh, YouTube all the time. Like, oh 
Elbow and a miss. Ray Brown takes Very the arm. Very smart going for that hurt elbow. Straight into an arm bar now, just working that shoulder over. I bet you Fodder didn't expect this. No, no, sir. He, he was awful not. cocky when he first came out, and he's not right. so cocky now. I mean, I don't think he expected 265 chiseled man come out of the curtain either. <laughs> he was expecting a little bit of dancing. And yeah. here, here he's got a little 3-4 uh, defense coming his way. No doubt he was playing it for nickel. Oh, nice. misses the chop. And Blade Brown's got some speed to him. Very, what do you say, Monty Brownish? A little bit of a pounce nice. coming out of this fella. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, listen to these fans starting to bark. Not getting everything he wants out of that chop, but it's still having a good effect on fodder. Nice whip and reverse of Fodder trying to catch his breath here. Into, oh, huge crossbody. Go ahead, Blade Brown. Back elbow. Look at My this man. man out here doing everything. Putting in the work. Stay on him, Blade Brown. Go ahead, baby. What a, what a treat we got here, James, right? We look forward to dancing with Gustavo every single month when he comes out, but Man, Blade Brown is really showing what he can do. Blade Brown, straight to the, you know, that's the hardest part of the, or the hardest part of the that is. right there is that, that apron. Listen to these fans starting to bark at Blade Brown. Guys, this is his first time here. He's won everybody over already. Right. That hard work, taking the match at the last minute, right? Open yeah, challenge. Right place, right time. Not knowing what he was coming into. I don't know, maybe he had a chance to, Look up some YouTube footage of Fodder over the last 30 seconds or so before right. he came out, but can't can't be preparing much. Oh, oh, eats the post. Fodder once again with a nice reversal, throwing Blade Brown into the ring post. Fodder looks aggravated, but he's got to stay on him though. This, if this young man has showed us anything. He ain't. He's not here to play around. No, man. He's here to make an impression. He's here to get some wins. He wants to come up, he wants to be on the AML show every single month now. Oh, takes him straight to the top turnbuckle. But Fodder letting him know you gotta go through me as he just lays a right hand right across the side of the jaw. Just taking him corner to corner now. Taking time to tell the fans to shut up. <laughs> Always take the time to tell. I mean, come on now, give him what they paid for. Oh, oh he's breaking his face. Breaking his face across the top rope. Guys, that steel cable underneath uh, rubber, that does not feel good. Father strings together sometimes that old school offense that really your mind isn't thinking about it. You might have even forgot that even, there was even a possibility. Using the ring in just precarious ways to damage his opponent any way that he can. You know, Fodder comes out with that psycho stick and with the psycho girl. And, and, but he's a throwback. Like, Com completely. It, he's, he's very much 1980s style, right? It's a lot of high impact, low momentum type moves. He's not flying around the ring. He's not jumping all over the place. He's putting that weight and that muscle on you, making you feel it. You're gonna know that you worked with Fodder when you're done, whether you win or lose. Oh my God, James. Huge back elbow. Coming right on the bottom of the chin. Oh, million dollar fist drop right to the forehead. Yes, sir. Little five knuckle shuffle. I wonder if he's seen Mike Cena work before. Had to. Oh, a hard whip into the buckle. Oh, Father just playing with him now. Oh my God, and another hard whip into the buckle. Working on the back and the lower. Honestly, that messes up your hips more than it does your back. Just sends a shock all the it way down to the tips yes. of your toes, man. Fodder now taking to the top. 
you right can, hand. You can see the confidence starting to grow on Fodder as this match starts to prolong. The more offense he strings together, the more confident and cocky he becomes. You know, what kind of gets lost when you're looking at a specimen like Blade Brown is the size of Fodder. Correct, right? Fodder is a gigantic man. He just right now is in the ring with somebody that's bigger than him, which doesn't happen very often. Nice, jumping lariat. Way to get back to the top of your feet. Way to not let a little slip mishap mess you up. Still keep your focus and your prowess. Still was able to execute the same thing that you wanted to in the first place, but Blade Brown, you're gonna have to get to your feet. As much, as much time as you take, that gives your opponent the same amount to catch his breath. Third right hand, knocking fodder back to the ropes. Nice stop of the brakes by Blade Brown into the, into, into the double accent. He's fired up now, he's got the whole crowd behind him. My God, just hoists him up like nothing. We go for power, slam center oh of the God. ring. Cover that man. Fodder out at two. Blade Brown showing his strength. Fodder with the slip behind. We talked about that old style and that old school prowess of Fodder. He just hit him with the oldest trick in the book. It's the Psycho Slam. Psycho Slam, James, it's over. That's all she wrote. Fodder just laying on the man. Oh, you know, a little bit of extracurricular activity now. Insult to injury, right hand after right hand. Oh, man. He's staring at that psycho stick. Psycho stick in hand, ready to go to work. All right, uh, no, I don't think there's any more time need to be. Wait, can we get some help out here? Oh my God! Fodder, you won the match. Like what? What's the point of insult the injury? Can oh, we get whoa, some whoa, here help? We go. Security's coming, security's coming. Not our Wimbledon guy. Oh, I hope he hits him right in the face. Jesus. Oh. Just one oh, after just the other. Psycho stick just after one psycho after the stick. Other. Just wearing out Wimbledon and everybody in between. Brian Hawks, general manager Brian Hawks is on his way out. My man looked like a swolled up couch. Go ahead. Go ahead, lay the law. Lay the law. Go get him, Brian. What are you about to do? Man, ain't no way Fodder's about to smack. No, ain't no way. Brian Hawks, of course, is going to talk some sense into Fodder. He has to. He's not that psycho. He's psycho, but he's not psycho enough to hit the boss of the company. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, Jesus he is. Jesus, God. There's got to be fines and suspension. There has to be repercussions. There has to. Fodder, that's enough. Absolutely ridiculous. The general manager of AML Wrestling, Brian Hawks, comes out to try to restore order, and the psycho boy takes the psycho stick right across the shoulder blades of Brian Hawks. Head trainer of AML Wrestling Training Center, Josh Gary, out now to check on Brian. What I, what I don't understand, you won the match. Why? Guys, Brian, what, are, what are you going to get from this? What are you going to get from this? Guys, a fine, a suspension? Brian Hawks is not my, on the next month's show. Brian Hawks is my best friend. This is absolutely ridiculous. Get him! Get him out of here! Damn, Brian. 